JT. So uh, that, that's it. There's there's one additional chord and one modification. We'll uh, I'll do kind of easy stuff and tell you what to do to make it harder and more accurate as we go. So those three chords are a C, an A minor seventh. Uh, for that A minor, all you have to do is lift up your ring finger. So just uh, these two strings: middle finger, index finger. Then the F. Uh, this is really the the main chord that we need to talk about. You could play, you could play a power chord, which is not quite the same as a song, but that's probably your easiest option. I don't think you want to play the four string F. It takes away the basis of the song. So here's the options. Play a power chord. Uh, you can play a full F with a bar, with, which uh, you might not be able to do, but if you can, that's better than just the uh, power chord. Um, and the correct way might be a new chord for you. Here's what it is. Index finger on the first fret here, ring finger on the or second fret on the D, and your middle finger gets the first fret of the uh, B string. My index finger is muting the A. We don't want to hear that. Uh, and I'm letting the G string, that's the important one, ring open. That's what's modifying our F. And that's what's going to make it sound true to the song. So that is the real chord, kind of a C with an F bass. You don't worry about the name of it. That's how you play it. Um, I think it sounds way better, but if you're just going for something simple to sing to your girlfriend or something, you know, the power, the power chord is going to be fine. So uh, the progression is, for the verse, you know, the slow, the quiet part in the beginning, just play it once to your F. Back to the A minor 7. Repeat. All right, then the uh, pre-chorus and the chorus. The under the light, that part. We're going to play a C. Here's another thing that we need to talk about, easy versus hard way. Easy way is just play a C. Under the light, this chord. So that chord is up here on the 6th fret with your index finger. 6th fret, your pinky is on the 7th fret of the G string, and your middle finger is back on the 6th fret of the B. You don't want to hear the high E, so I use my index finger to kind of wrap around and touch it up here. So that's that chord. Uh, let's talk about the C. If you want it to sound a little bit more like the song, what I suggest is go back and forth from a regular C and a C seventh, which means add your pinky on the third fret of the uh, G string. So go back and forth between. And just sit on the chord like this, all downstrokes. And then for that big change, hit the sixth fret. Hold it. And down to an F, and this time I do play a power chord. Just imagine, just imagine. And then to the chorus, it's the same chord, C, A minor, F, A minor, 7. But the rhythm changes. Here's what I do. Play the C just all down strokes four times. And I like to mute in between, which means I lift m my left hand fingers, not off the strings, but I just lift them up so they mute those strings. And I'll use my palm down here to mute the strings. Then on the A minor 7th, that's down, mute, up, up, Again, down, mute, up, up, down. Then to your F. One, two, three, four. And then same thing. Down, up, up, down. That's the song from the new JT so song. I'm not sure what album it is. I think it might be for a movie, but I'm not sure what the movie's called. Uh, so please rate, please comment, please subscribe. 
all the good stuff. I'll see you next time.